Uh, hello there. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create the crude action for Symphony uh, for the entity we have created in the previous video. The entity we called my entity, and it is in the self name space and it is in the content bundle. And in that, uh, that's in terms of naming, it will be called self content bundle one word for the namespace and the the bundle. Uh, let's open uh, our IDE NetBeans and if you go to the root folder of your project run the command and search for crude it is there displayed in the first one but crude and run type the name of the entity sub content it's case sensitive colon my entity check the spelling yep uh, yes create the right action and the the format for the routing uh, will be uh, annotation by default so I, I'd, I'd rather refer, uh, prefer YAML and the prefix for the URL I will make it my entity and confirm generation yes and confirm con uh, automatic update of the routing yes and it falls symphony falls short in updating your routing it only create the routing page but it doesn't create the entry for it in 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 the main so we will create i will copy it and you should stick it in if you see SAF content bundle and it's under routing so it created that in the routing the new but it hasn't created the entry for it in its parent folder which is this is the main entry so if you just paste and drag it back to make sure it goes to blue okay once it's blue that will be it means it's working if it's not blue it won't work and then after that save open the browser let's type uh, my I think it's here it's already here opened this is our uh, URL and we call the my entity my entity Now it's empty and you create a new entry and in the, if, if you recall or if you watched the video I only created two mock-up first and second uh, properties for the class and they are there are fields in the database so if you leave it empty, it uh, by default it it, it it doesn't make them optional, so you have to enter them. I'll show you later how to to make it optional, but in the meantime you have to be uh, they have to be filled. So you create and here and you can delete it, whatever you want to do with it. You can edit it. You can go back to the list and here it will show you uh, that's it really it's very easy very simple and looking forward for the next video and thanks for watching